Right, hey, hey, it's Mega here. I'm here at the uh, Toyota Service Center, Stevens Creek Toyota, get my 15,000 mile maintenance done. Um, it's pretty not much going on as well. Let's say I think the most important thing is they're gonna rotate the tires or something. That's it. It's like pretty basic stuff. Uh, I think the next one is the oil change. That's the next big one. These Toyotas, they don't really need a whole lot of maintenance. <laughs> at least for the first 30,000 miles, anyways. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's being a nanny right now, man. It's uh, saying maintenance required. Maintenance required. Visit your dealer. <laughs> I'm at four thousand, uh, fourteen thousand eight hundred sixty-nine miles. So, I'm getting the fifteen k maintenance done today. All right. Yeah. So there is one thing that uh, that I wanted them to look at is this right here. See, see the window. See how loose it is. Yeah, it's pretty loose. Okay, the other windows aren't like that. I noticed that the last time I was here. So, so I got to ask them like if they could check that out. Uh, that might be. I'm able to get that fixed under like warranty and stuff. So, yeah. All right, he's big here, and we're here at Stevens Creek Toyota. We're just gonna take a quick walk around the lot and see if I see anything interesting. Like this, uh, I'm pretty sure this is not for sale, but this is a uh, Toyota Tacoma that let's spin outfitted for adventure <laughs> as you can see here it's pretty cool the colors the blue color is so bright and they even got traction boards that are like the same color <laughs> it's pretty cool so they got a pop-up tent it looks like an awning there there's a bike rack back there yeah there's like a gas tanks um what is it rotopax gas tanks yeah this guy is ready to go adventuring <laughs> awesome all right here we got a bunch of rav4s Uh, like uh, the earlier, the last model, RAV4, um, this model, RAV4, there's two of the fourth gen ones. And then uh, there's a couple okay, of Here we got a RAV, um, not a RAV4, it's a Prius Prime, it's a Prius Prime. A, this is a plug-in hybrid just like the RAV4. You know what I like about the Prius Prime? It has an indicator on the dash what the, the charge date is <laughs> right well so when it's charging those things blink and you could tell uh, how much charge is left in the battery the RAV4 has nothing like that <laughs> I hate that all right but anyway two, two, 2017 Prius Prime $31,995 still old still pretty pricey I, I it's called it's uh I know this is already like a five-year-old car and it's held its uh, value very well, that's for sure. Alright, I think I've only driven one of these like maybe once or twice and, and that was in the hybrid mode because the battery ran out of juice so... Um, but I heard the RAV4 Prime is a huge upgrade over this. <laughs> still like the old Prius though. Um, it's still got a warranty, that's nice. All right, got a bunch of Camrys, the Mirai, oh, the old Mirai. How much is this? How much do they want for this Mirai? Let me see. It's black. Twenty-one thousand. Still kind of pricey, but you get the free gas with it. That's a good thing. But yes, considering these are like sixty thousand when they came out, yeah, it's that's actually it depreciated quite a bit. <laughs> it's a twenty nineteen, also, by the way. So it's still pretty fresh. Oh yeah, look at this FJ Cruiser, man. Oh look, it's got like, like uh, some fancy King suspension, man. That's the name brand stuff right there. It's got a roof rack, a light bar. Yeah, this thing is ready to go. It's even got a radio of some sort in there. <laughs> it's got like a deer killer bumper. It looks like it's got a winch. Yep, it's got a winch. Damn, they just drive it down the steps like that. It looks so rad. <laughs> you could inspect the undercarriage right now if you wanted to. <laughs> This is pretty cool. Adjustable suspension in the front. That remote reservoir. That looks like some kind of aftermarket arms or some sort. It's definitely got some all-terrain tires. Geolanders. It looks like it's been. It looks like it's been adventuring though. It's got scratches all over the side and stuff. But yeah, it's pretty nice. It's a. It's an olive green, also. It's got a Rotopax in the back, ready for adventure. All right, they want 49000 for this bad boy. Holy moly. 
Yeah, you can't see it, but it's 49,000. It's got a bunch of stuff on it. <laughs> Market stuff. I've actually ridden in one of these before. Man, cool. it looks so tall for this angle. Definitely, you want to be careful on the corners. <laughs> Definitely got some ride height on the RAV4. Man. 2021 Forerunner. <laughs> With 7,000 miles on it. 52,000. Holy moly. Well, somebody just bought this. They drove it. It's not probably barely even broke it in, man. And they, they sold it already. So we're back to the dealer. <laughs> this buddy. Ah, interesting. Sweet. These are rent a car. Some of these are rent a cars. They, these Sienna is a rent a car. Be cool to rent a Sienna for a day. But yeah, you could rent this Rav4 hybrid here if you wanted to take it for a spin for a day. You know, take it adventuring. I could tell it's a hybrid because it has an EV mode button. <laughs> Pretty sweet. It's got the blacked out lettering on it too. It says rent a car, Stevens Creek Toyota. I didn't know they rented cars at Stevens. Yeah, Creek. guys. So <laughs> not disappointing. Not too many interesting vehicles. Not too many brand new vehicles. It's a funny thing. This is a brand new Camry right here, but there's a couple brand new Camrys. But yeah, there's a bunch of they're all. Most of these are used vehicles. Most of them, I guess. All right, I can tell just by it's looking at the front of this Rav4 that it's not a Rav4 Prime. <laughs> Because it doesn't have the chin spoiler. That's how I could tell from the front. But it does have glossy trim. Man, the glossy trim looks freaking dope. It scratches real easy though, man. That's what I don't like about it. You're always want to. You're always wondering, like, you know, you don't really care if the the unpainted trim gets scratched. Yeah, it's a hybrid. It's not a prime, but it's a hybrid. Okay. How much is it going for? Thirty-five thousand. Marked up 9,000. Holy moly, 45,000. So yeah, uh, after a year after I bought my RAV4, this is made in Georgetown, Kentucky, by the way, guys. America. <laughs> this is American RAV4. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, a year later, still they're still marking them up, man. They're they're as you can see, there's not a whole lot of brand new cars here on the lot, man. It's just a lot of open space. This is funny. Okay, I think that's like a new color. I'm not really sure. Let's. What color is that? It's even got like a blue springs, a blue shock absorber. Uh, it's a uh, cavalry blue. That's what the color is called. Cavalry blue. Pretty sweet looking color. All right, Sorry. hey, Hades Vegas got there's Rav4 back. Ha ha, all right. So yeah, it's, it's actually been a year since I've owned this machine, all right? More than a year. And uh, I'm, I took it in for its 15,000 mile maintenance. Let's go check out what they did to it. And, and yeah, but I'll tell you this, I've had pretty much zero problems with this vehicle, man. It's been super reliable for the last 15,000 miles. Let's hope it stays that way. <laughs> okay, I did ask him about the windows, all right. Um, yeah, the windows. He said that's normal, all right? The, the amount of movement is normal. He said as long as it, if it doesn't make any weird sounds and popping and clicking and stuff then um then it should be fine all right as, as long as it's not making any strange sounds um okay yeah so uh yeah it was kind of uneventful day there it i got done pretty fast i was here for a 10 30 appointment and it's 11 36 right now so only took an hour okay the last time i the last time I was here, it was for a recall, all right? <laughs> yeah, so I, I know I was saying I, I had zero problems with this vehicle. Well, I have had zero problems. They're just safety recall stuff that I don't think is really all that important to. It's the something, the stability control thing and the, and the um, data communications module, so. Okay, but yeah, let's go check out what they did. Uh, it was pretty, it's pretty routine stuff. I think they just did a multi-point inspection and the big one is they rotated the tires. So I hope, uh, I, I don't know, man. I, I find a lot of marks and stuff on my wheels. I don't know if it's Toyota that's been doing it or I've taken this a couple times to America's Tire and, and I've never taken the wheels off of this vehicle. So uh, not yet anyway. <laughs> And, uh, and it's got like scratches on the wheels like from like uh, the impact gun socket being like you know not put in properly like they missed it a little bit and they scratched the wheel yeah dude that kind of stuff um, 
so that's that's one thing I've been noticing was like who who can I blame you know <laughs> so I say so that's why I like to do my own work because I I know if I scratch it it's my fault <laughs> not their fault but I can't I can't say Toyota did it or or America's tire it was one of those two those are the only two people's that are taking my tires off right taking my rims off okay yeah let's go check out what they did okay here it is Toyota Care third service all right 15,000 miles no cost service all right it is a, a rotate and multi-point inspection that's pretty much it simple stuff there's a multi-point inspection all right it says set tire pressures I wonder what they set the tire pressures to because what it says on the door jam is 33 psi all right and they've got it at like 34 or 35 or so. I don't even think they touched it so <laughs> all right so but it's fine okay thank you for coming to Stevens Creek Toyota the front tire tread is at 432 the rear tire tread is 632 well they should be opposite now right the the front because they rotated it right uh, the front brakes are 10 millimeter the rear brakes are 8 millimeters uh, any future service yada da 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 so um, I think that was it that's all he discussed with me and then we can look at the multi-point inspection but he said the tires are starting to get low and I looked at it and yeah they're definitely more than 50% of their life I have another set of tires ready to put on I can't wait to get them out of my garage all right but here here's the tread depth it's funny they only have three of oh, yeah there's three but there's four tires right I guess <laughs> The, the right front is at 432, the r left rear is at 632, and the right rear is at 632. What happened to the other one? Uh, there's, oh, there's more, oh, this is uh, the, um, this is like how, I'm not really, inspection range info is what it is like. So what's, what's good, what's bad, you know, type of thing. The pads are at 10, uh, 10 and 8, all right. They didn't check the rotors. Parking brake is good. The rear brake shoes. And then that's it. What else? There should be more stuff than that, man. Alright, there we go. Okay, yeah. Yeah, windshield cracks. I know there's a couple uh, chips on my window. Freaking, uh, they're kind of hard to see, but they're there. Lights are fine. Wipers are fine. Under the hood is fine. Um. It says the cabin air filter and the engine air filter. He told me they were dusty. Okay, so what I could do is probably just clean it, you know? Clean it myself. The cabin filter, I'll probably clean. All right, I'll, if there's any kind of leaves and stuff in there, I'll take them out. That's that's an easy one, all right? I could totally replace that myself, too. Uh, that's the one of the things that, like, yeah, you should do it because uh, um, you're breathing that stuff in. Guys. <laughs> okay, guys, under the hood. There's no belts, there's no hoses on this car. Um, battery, under vehicle, good. CV drive axle boots look good. Check for leaks and stuff, looks good. Oh, there's the left front right there. Okay, that was the, so that's weird. There's one tire that's worn out more than the other ones. <laughs> that's kind of funny. All right, but it looks like I still good, is what I wanna say. Okay, yeah, so that was it. Pretty uneventful day. Not too many cars on the lot. Um, yeah, I, I, this is about the same time last year that I bought my RAV4. There wasn't a whole lot of vehicles, so I guess this is the season to buy new vehicles, I guess. Um, yeah, I didn't really see any too many interesting vehicles. They didn't even have a car in the showroom, man. It's crazy. Um, and most of the cars on this lot are used cars or rental cars, so yeah. I didn't even know they rented cars here. I know, I know other Toyotas they do, but... I guess they do. If you want to rent like a RAV4 hybrid or something, knock yourself out. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's my 15,000 mile uh, maintenance vlog. Um, I will probably, when I get home, I'll probably pull that, that cabin filter out and I'll just clean it. I'll just, you know, dust it. That's what I want to do, okay? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wanted to say, yeah, I've had this vehicle for a year. Um, I did a likes and dislikes video, like stuff I like about this vehicle and dislike this about this vehicle. Um, check that video out, all right, after one year of ownership. I have to say it's an excellent vehicle. There's a couple things that are kind of annoying and hey, nitpicky that Hades Mega doesn't like, you know. Um, it's, it's like kind of Toyota's kind of stuck in the past type of thing. It's not... It's not cutting edge technology anymore, is what I say, alright? But yeah. 
but it, it, that's usually how it is right once you drive it off the lot it's already obsolete right <laughs> but but anyway yeah I've, I've i've had zero problems with this vehicle i've had a couple punctures you know flat tires and stuff um that i've had america's tire fix that's about it um and that's not there's nothing you can do about that you know um there's a, been a couple safety recall things uh, that i did last time and and yeah uh, other than that there's really no problems with it i have actually had i have had a problem where i when i leave the vehicle on with the air conditioning in the sun um it says the front camera doesn't work all right and it keeps on telling me the front camera doesn't work i don't really have a front camera uh, i know there is a front there is a camera on, on for the front of the vehicle and what that does is it detects other vehicles and pedestrians and all that stuff in front of your vehicle so yeah that's probably what what that camera works operates as and i guess maybe when it gets hot or something it, it's not happy <laughs> okay um that's what i've noticed it only does it when it's really hot so uh, it only did it quite recently um yeah other than that i think my tires are about 50 percent i'm probably gonna have to replace it probably next year sometime it's fine i got i got another set of tires ready to put on and i'm planning to install some uh i'm planning to buy some aftermarket wheels at some point i want to go with 17s so I, I get a better ride um and yeah yeah other yeah i have no problems with this vehicle and i hope it stays that way <laughs> all right hey it's big out thanks for watching